so welcome back to another video so in this video we'll be seeing uh, rc low pass filter response frequency response as you can see this is the circuit diagram of rc low pass filter so we have a resistance uh, whose value is 6.8 kilo ohm and uh, a capacitor is connected to that uh, it's 0 0.22 microfarad and an input supply uh, like an input si uh, sine wave signal is given here which is having an amplitude 5 volt VPV like a uh, peak to peak voltage and the frequency is 100 hertz we, we start with 100 hertz uh, uh, but uh, later we will vary the value vary the frequency value and we will go for the gain response so uh, so this is circuit we are going to implement so in order to do that uh, we will go to uh, ISIS so ISIS is basically uh, a simulation software circuit simulation software so uh, in this uh, just open this and go to the components and just click on this library and just search resistor uh, in this case the resistor I'm looking for is 6.8k just search it and you can see many resistors available you can go for 6.81 resistor double click on that that will be added here and now the next one is a capacitor just search for capacitor whose value is 0 0.022 uh, microfarad and uh, once you go for that you can choose any capacitor within that range uh, 0 0.22 microfarad okay and search over here choose one capacitor for now and we'll change the value later okay now you need to uh, take the resistor just place it and just zooming in for the proper visibility yeah and just take the capacitor and you need to rotate it once clockwise or anti-clockwise yes that's it now connect the capacitor to the resistor and we need to give a ground so place ground here connect the capacitor to the ground okay fine as you can see the capacitor value is 0 0.22 microfarad it's fine and the resistor is 6.8k that's also fine now we need to give an input signal so which is available here select the sine wave place it here double click on that give a voltage of 5 amplitude and the initial frequency as 100 hertz and you need to select the type as sine then click ok now give this input sine wave to the resistor so your circuit diagram is completed now you need to pick uh, one voltage probe you are going to sense the voltage from uh, this side this capacitor side so sorry the this side just place on this capacitor as you can see it is c1 this capacitor side voltage since we are taking the output or connecting the cro across this capacitor the output voltage so that's done now in order to simulate the frequency response of this particular rc network uh, we need to get a graphical mode so go and select the graphical mode then select the frequency and you need to just draw a rectangle here that's it now you can get a graph over here frequency response and now you need to select this probe drag into this graph inside the graph that's it you can see the gain is in the y axis and frequency is in the x axis that's it now you need to right button on the graph go to edit properties this reference value you need to choose the resistor and you can see the starting frequency is 10 and uh, the stop frequency is 1 megahertz that's a sweeping frequency range and then click ok and that's it again right button you need to go for simulate the graph so now you can see the response is given here just uh, double click on the graph header over here you can get the graph here as you can see uh, the gain is constant in the lower frequency 
and once the frequency is increasing to a uh, particular level then the gain start dropping down and when the frequency is in maximum frequency range then you can see the gain drop almost to zero uh, zero in a sense the minimum value so this is the frequency response and you can see lower frequency range we are getting gain and higher frequency range we are getting a dropage of green so it's only allow the low frequency and uh, uh, high frequency is rejecting so this is the explanation of this uh, simulation this RC low pass network. Thank you. Thank you for watching.